Hello, this presentation is for Baxter Park, the first build to rent subdivision for the Memphis market. Baxter will be a 100 lot community. There will be 100 units and it will be a thousand day project or two years and nine months. We are basing this work breakdown structure on 104 day build times. And it is important to note that it will be an S-shaped curve. So it'll be slow from stages one through four. It'll really pick up from stages five through seven. And it'll need a lot more attention as we, from uh, different participants in there. And then it'll slow back down again from stages eight through 10. The organization of this project will be a matrix structure, uh, so the participants will still report to their managers but will also be assigned to the project. The project manager will report to the operations manager. We will also need a land acquisitioner to contract, buy the land, and develop the amenities. From construction, we will need one full-time superintendent and a start coordinator to uh, devote half their time to the project. Uh, for purchasing, we'll need one full-time purchasing agent, and we'll also need a quarter of the time from a purchasing manager and an estimator who will provide assistance. Accounting will provide uh, support from AP clerk, which will take a quarter of their time, and the account accounting manager will consult through the life of the project, and it will take a quarter of their time. There are risks associated with this project. We can see from this table below. Um, although it's not likely to happen, the project manager will monitor the market and see if there's a loss of interest from investors. And that can be brought up to the exec executive uh, team and a change can be made if needed. Um, there's also a contingency plan in place for natural disasters. Something else to note is that there will be concern from uh, the sales team about losing out on lots to sell and commissions. Um, it'll have to be communicated to them that their buyers are different from these institutional investors and this project will not interfere with them and they will have enough to sell and we will continue to have them sell and uh, make commissions. As long as these risks are planned for and there's effective communication, there will be success. The financial projections here are shown and I want to talk about how they compare to a build for sale community. The total investment will remain uh, consistent in build for sale and build for rent. Um, and I just wanted to point out that the $7 million invested for the finished lots come 420 days into the project and will be returned within 25 months. Uh, total revenues of $40 million projected compared to just under $30 million in a build for sale community. PTI of $16 million compared to $3.4 million uh, for, build for build for sale. And a gross margin of 43.5% compared to 20.2% to a similar project. An ROI of 70% compared to 36% in a build for sale. The key drivers to higher PTI are selling the houses at a premium and cutting out commissions, buyer's incentives, and warranty costs using this model.